Yeah. Uh, so uh, since podcast was gone today, uh, he asked me to not only write the dev diary, but also uh, join you guys here on the stream. So uh, the dev diary today is about uh, immersion. It's uh, about giving uh, name list to the division templates uh, in the game so that uh, you will get uh, historical names uh, for uh, uh, all kinds of divisions that you create. Yeah. So uh, what do we have right here? So we have uh, an example here with um, a German infantry division. Uh, I think some people are really going to be happy about this. Oh yes, I, I know <laughs> a, a certain, <laughs> a certain mod that would uh, enjoy oh, yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, the problem that we had in uh, the game before was that um, the names that were in the original uh, uh, start setup in the game had uh, really good historical names. But once you started playing the game when, and you created new divisions, they freaked out. They got very <coughs> generic names, and yep. uh, we weren't really happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those players, yes. Yeah, they are called something. Do they have artillery in them? Okay, then I'm happy with them. <laughs> and there are other players that uh, really Wants enjoy... Wants to murder me for saying yeah. it. Yeah, I, I had saw a post in the forum where, about someone who uh, was happy not to have to spend uh, several hours renaming <laughs> divisions anymore. I, I have one of these guys in my Discord channel who had this massive massive document about planning not only the organization but also what everything should be named yes. so i i think I, that i actually think is kind of cool when you have the entire thing set up so th i think this might actually make very happy people yeah the, uh, i'm the same kind of play uh, player as myself uh in heart of iron 3 i spent at least a couple of hours at uh, the start of every game to set up the order battle properly wow. i'm glad i don't have to do that anymore and I uh, even modded the game to include uh, more uh, historical uh, division names. Cool. So what we will do here is that we will try to uh, uh, create name lists with uh, the historical division names. They will appear on new divisions. Uh, you can select from a number of name lists for any divisions uh, that you create. You can have uh, different templates with different types of divisions. For example, uh, you can have a template with a light infantry division that uses a different name list. Uh, the divisions uh, will uh, have a number and a name so that uh, when you change the template of a division, they will uh, re them. They will uh, retain the number, the division oh, number. Nice. And okay, that they, I like. Yeah, and they will <laughs> uh, get the new name that is appropriate for the new template. Okay, actually, it's, uh, it starts to sound cooler right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see, do I have more screenshots? I like pictures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have an example uh, here that uh, shows uh, the uh, 36th Infant Division. This was a division that uh, was reorganized several times uh, throughout uh, World War II. And uh, what I've shown here is an example of uh, the names that uh, a division uh, might end up with throughout the game. Mm, cool. cool. So it would be easier to keep track of your units even if you change them. It will. Nice. It will. And nice. you might get some really cool uh, name divisions uh, uh, in the game as well. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, yeah. And as I wrote in the dev diary, I'm absolutely sure that um, uh, there will be very... Uh, A big modder scene. <laughs> well, this. I think modders will be very happy about this and uh, not go overboard with uh, <laughs> uh, tons of name lists for all kinds of things. I, I, I think, I, I believe you're right. They will keep it very reasonable and uh, Yes, and th strict. there's certainly no, no uh, well-known mods out there that might go slightly overboard with this feature. Yeah. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. That will be coming up. Is that part of the free expansion or the paid? If we know. Ooh. I'll need to get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs> 
Anyway, so yeah, rename your divisions to the spurgiest of your needs. And uh, well, if you're like me, just have some cool names on divisions. But I think we'll jump into the game right now. So for no further delay and welcome to the, well, South American Sunset Invasion with Faction, Mac Faction, Fage fa Faction in, well, South America. And well, hopefully quite soon in North America as well. <laughs> God, I, I can't believe we actually named it Faction Mac Faction Face. So, um, I don't think we have to delay very much. We have a couple of devs in several nations right here. And uh, how many faction members are we actually currently? We are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, nine developers sitting right up there playing with us. So, without further ado, let's just unpause the game and start enjoying the game. So, last episode, we expanded a tiny bit right here for Panama ourselves. And we started up our great fleet of uh, My Ships Don't Lie. <laughs> That's a lovely <laughs> fleet name. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it, Dan. <laughs> so Dan had this vision that we should name everything by Shakira song. A Shakira name list. A Shakira name list. Boom. There we have our use for it already. <laughs> so um, uh, will that be included in the... <laughs> I think uh, this might have to be a mod. Ah. Oh. Damn it. But, um, well, we'll see how quickly that mod set out on the forum. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think we were planning to invade Peru and split it up between a couple of us. Um, but then I noticed that we actually have a war goal against Brazil, and I thought, that's crazy. We can't go against Brazil. I right-click them right now and notice they have six to seven divisions right now. So, I think we'll just join into that war and, well, guard our divi station our divisions right here. Uh, let's actually stick to our land for now. Hopefully our dear ally in Venezuela, Bjorn B, will be able to deal with them on their own front. But yeah, generally just help everyone over splitting up nations. And when we all are strong enough and have a united South America and maybe North America except the United States under our banner, we should continue and, uh, well, sunset invasion everyone in Europe. So, how are we currently doing? Oh, right. We have two research slots, so I think we want to get that as quickly as possible. Ah, one of our friends are taking over another untrustworthy non-player nation, so... <laughs> away with you! Excellent. Good work. So, I think we should just rush, actually, right down here. Let's see. While we fight... Um, at war is in a faction, must have more than 50 factories. We have 14, so I think that would take a while. So I think we'll just go straight down right here to the extra research slot. I think I wanted military before, but doesn't it make more sense to just try to get this as quickly as possible? It depends on uh, what your industry is like. Yeah, like our industry is very small, but it's currently enough to take care of our troops. Since hmm. this is our current division template, it's kind of sad. It's a little bit sad. Like, I think we can maybe switch this one, but actually, maybe we should keep the cavalry right now. Once we have we have so little experience points right now, I think it might be in vain if we just throw it away. I think you might want to uh, to uh, yeah, keep the cavalry and build up more uh, army experience. Yeah. Yeah, I will keep the cavalry for now, that's okay. And actually, let's put this as support artillery first. It drains a tiny bit less artillery since we have very few of it right now. Uh, maybe we can even add one more infantry. Yes, we can. We can actually add more than one infantry. Okay, cool. Let's add two more then, so at least a 12 combat with. And I wouldn't say good stats, but um, they are bearable to watch. <laughs> they are okay for your local conditions. Yeah, that's a very good expression of <laughs> okay for the... <laughs> All right, and um, we also have a couple of support. I think I want one more factory on military whenever this one gets finished, but then we'll see. Uh, let's just continue down here construction effort, because I think it's actually more worth it if we spend trying to get, well, maybe not ahead of time in tech, but to the same level as them in tech of more, well, rich nations. <sighs> By the way, shout out to my MC friends in chat. What? MC friends? That's, that's uh, my friends from E Online. Oh, that's cool. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, let's see how many more days before this war goal is finished by. Let's see who is actually justifying against them. Uh, let's see. Are you justifying Haiti, Dominican Republic, justifying Mexico, and new constitutional Uruguay is justifying against Brazil. Wow. <laughs> Uruguay of all nations just. Oh, of course, it's milk. 
Oh, okay, that explains everything. He, he, actually, this doesn't explain anything. He usually declares, let's say, he's usually on the losing side when he declares war, or the side that, that most likely will lose. So I'm kind of surprised to actually see they have, well, are, actually looks like they will win, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, two artillery, five to eight infantry, and about 70, no, no, I'll probably say 80% of their strength, and... Okay, um, um, okay I, I think it's decent. I think they will win, actually. Milk is improving his gameplay. Nice. Which he needs if you're playing uh, Uruguay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uruguay is usually one... I think this was almost one of the hardest nations before. But it has become easier now. It is so tiny, though. <coughs> yeah. like one. I think, actually, one of the hardest nations are still Bhutan, because they absolutely have nothing. But... They have expansion area, that's the thing. Uruguay doesn't really have expansion area. They have Argentina and Brazil beside them. Yeah, that, that really blocks them in. Yeah, I, I think uh, when I once I played them, I got one destroyer or something, and then did this naval invasion around the entirety of South America to invade <laughs> okay. Ecuador, okay. and it actually worked. Yeah, I can see that happening. But that, that's ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, are actually people helping each other right now or are they greedy so they're trying to not call in anyone else in the wars <laughs> come on people we are the same faction and we can be we're together we are together fighting against well everyone else so trust your allies invite them to the war and uh, let's win this together as one yeah together for victory exactly but um well we are uh, well american nations yes uh, war economy, yes, please. Yes, superior than most other things. <laughs> and uh, I can really see that he is the leader of faction McFaction phase. It feels like they're collating somehow. Hmm. Like, yeah, I named the faction that way. You yeah. got a problem with that? I love these portraits. Yeah, it's, it feels really nice now that doesn't all nations in the entire world have their own portraits now. I think uh, we do. Uh, we might uh, be missing a few of them, but I think we covered uh, all of them by now. Yeah, I think actually, yeah. We were missing some before, definitely. But we were missing some before, but we, we've yeah. added uh, portraits to, uh, well, yeah, as much as uh, uh, we can at this point. Yeah, I think we have. F oh, no, oh. this. This is the custom. This is a normal one, generic one, right? Or? I honestly don't know. Maybe he was Maybe the he generic was one. The uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. M maybe some someone in the chat knows. But yeah, milk. Please call us into the war against Brazil. Alice is anyone justifying against Peru? Uh, no. So I think I will start justifying another myself a war against Peru, because hopefully we can bring down. Brazil pretty quickly if we invade both from well Bolivia uh, from Bolivia if we invade from Colombia if we invade from well Paraguay and Uruguay Brazil should fall pretty quickly they can't handle like all armies closing in from all directions so they're a very large country though yeah that's why we need everyone closing in, closing in and hopefully Venezuela too will join us but they seem to have some other plans in mind maybe a naval invasion uh, can we look uh, no, they don't seem to have any plans dragged out, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens right there. Uh, do we have good enough supply? Yes, we do, but yeah, I think we should train a couple more divisions, just in case. You do have the actually, manpower. Yeah, how many can we do, actually? We can do eight without losing anything, so let's just, let's just do eight more then. Eight more in one, and then we'll see if we can upgrade them more with experience instead of building more of them. So just a stack of eight, thank you. How many divisions do you have right now? Um, well, six divisions. So, and they're not, oh right, they're not fully trained anymore because I upgraded them with the artillery and extra infantry. Uh, <laughs> Bjorn does not want to join because, well, I'm just trying to get tanks here, doing nothing at all. But then come and help us with Brazil. Just come down, gather our front line, and charge in. Because that's what most of us is going to do, hopefully. 
if the guy who's justifying will invite us all. No, let my tanks roll in. Yeah, yeah, that's... Please, please, roll in to Brazil with them. Huh? I'm huh? sure that the tanks will be very helpful in the mountainous jungle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially since they're great war tanks. Oh, yes, oh, yes. They, they are very known for uh, their uh, ability to traverse Maneuver. the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> no, they are not in a war. Take it easy. You haven't been called in, and you can just deny it. But, Milk, please call us in to the war with Brazil. I think most of the people actually went fascist because getting that extra manpower boost. I, I heard talk of be everyone become communist, but I think that idea was just, well, smashed down. Yeah, everyone realized they needed extra manpower, so everyone went fascist. Ah, oh, so nice when everyone can unite in fascism. That's your <laughs> words. <laughs> I've said worse. I've said much, much worse before. As have we all. Especially, I'd like, think if we could have some kind of mashup between Hearts of Iron and Crusader Kings. Oh, I I'm not sure yeah. that's a good idea. Crusader Heart or something. Heart hearts of Kings. I'm that's I'm pretty I think the forums would uh, implode. Oh, hearts of Kings, that's perfect. It's like the King part, which you go back in time, think about their times and all their, well, weird... Hobbies of incest, hobbies. <coughs> and then we have, well, hearts of their hearts, their true feelings against each other, which basically let's kill a... That's a perfect name. Hearts of Kings, let's do it. Sure. <laughs> it would bring in some very interesting mechanics, and I <coughs> yeah, you, use the word interesting liberally. No, 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 think about... Basically total war, but not really total war, because it's in Hearts of Iron style. Uh, thank you. We are gonna definitely join that war, and it seems like Brazil is instantly attacking us right here. Um, I think we will very, very easily very beat though. them back. Yeah. No. They have so few units, and we are... Actually, they have almost tripled their numbers, but they're spread out extremely, extremely much. So I think it's just our turn to counterattack and see what happens. Winning the war, winning the battle, and we actually have a slight problem here. But I don't think it will be a problem for very much longer once we start to, well, advance. Uh, let's see, we have this war happening in another... Actually, the new divisions we're training. When they are done, I think we'll just deploy them against Peru instead. And let these troops just continue onwards. Then you should actually, actually give them their own fac or their own commander and everything. So I don't mistakenly do anything. I, I always, like... That's been my main issue all the time. I want to have one commander so he gets more trained, more experience, more traits. And then the units reassign because they realize, oh, I'm not needed anymore here. Oh, we have another order over there. Let's go there. And I leave my flank open. Hmm. So what you're saying is that you need something to organize your army a little bit more? Maybe. Like uh, not chain of command. Name. <laughs> <laughs> chain of command would maybe work. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately we... <gasps> oh, right, you're hinting to that. Mm. You did Dev Diary two weeks ago, I think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so if you, well, have the same problem as me, Dev Diary two weeks ago. Mm. Chain of command. God, uh, what was it we said? We're never going to implement it, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> when we say we're never, ever going to do something, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, except when, <laughs> when we say that we're never going to implement something because then it's never going to be implemented. Yeah. If we use those specific terms, then, well, you can kiss you goodbye to your dreams and hopes. So how are you doing in Brazil right now? Um, we still have problem with this one division. They, it was reinforced and, well, they're now holding on quite well right here. Uh, how many men have we actually lost? Not that many men, 2,000, but I think our... Well, let's say equipment situation is okay, not that bad. Either. It's just they don't get reinforcements, I think. I might okay, everything is fine. It's just our troops are very slowly getting their equipment again. Yeah, it might be a little bit hard to get reinforcement into the jungle. Yeah. Okay, I I'm gonna stop just executing your order very aggressively, and I'm just gonna move you personally because it seems to be working better that way. So I can expand more quickly. 
this division, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. As soon as you attack, you will be beaten back if you... Yeah. It's basically the attacker's game right now. Or the one that attacks will lose more. It's usually that way. Um, the big question is, should we go... I really like these texts that reduces supply consumption because, well, supply consumption, I hate it, so... <laughs> you're going to need that. Yeah, if you're going to... Yeah, it's 20% uh, right here, and yeah. with logistics that can improve even more. But we're not getting the extra manpower, if we go down that way. That's a tri tricky question, then. We're gonna do invasions, we're gonna have lo loads of allies with their manpower. I don't think we will need that manpower. If we focus on being a bit specialized, like with the marines that we fought of, then hopefully the other nations that we have, well, allied in Mac faction, Mac faction phase, will be able to do the rest. So I think I would go with the, actually the less supply way. Because we're naval invading, we will not have very much supply when, once we land, so it might be it might be useful to have that. I think that's the best option. If we trust our fellow devs, which we... Of course you do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Uruguay is doing fine right there. Uh, let's see. It would be nice if we could... Actually, we can call them in. But they're wall with Chile right now. Um, let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe Carl could pull back with his troops and help us with Brazil. So we can a bit more quickly finish off that war. Uh, let's see. I don't think they will do any wiki while they're working on improving all their other games. Uh, Purge unbelievers standing completely about truth moving slowly. Does he know he's playing speed four instead of speed five? <laughs> yeah, I always just play m mostly on speed five at home because, well, why wait when I can actually have wars going on instead? So, um, yeah, and we also have these massive provinces and everything. Doesn't jungle have like movement penalty? Uh, moving cost is 1.5, yeah. yeah. And division, more division attrition and heat attrition and other very nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. So I think I will unite right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, since we are pushing in right now in Brazil, we will have a larger border against Peru. So I'm really hoping we have Ecuador with us. And yeah, uh, it seems like they have landed right here now. Yeah, Ecuador have landed on a small island. We had to help them with their fleet because... or I see. I, I will hesitate to use the word fleet, but our... Well, it's sailor's crew. <laughs> it's still a fleet. Very small fleet, but it's, it's a fleet. Yeah, so if... Um, well, Ecuador can repay us by helping us take down Peru, that would be very much appreciated. Um, oh god, maybe we should have had an Argentina player. That would really help us in the war with Chile. Now they're going to have to fight a war of basically attrition all the way down here in the very pretty mountains and forests of Chile. I'm sure there's nothing to could, that could go wrong there. Holy crap. Ma maybe not there, but here. Troops Ooh. from Soviet Union have arrived. <laughs> what is Soviet Union Even doing? Even tanks. <laughs> oh crap. Yeah, we will really have to hurry up our war and try to finish them up from the north. Otherwise, we might have issues. Um. That's a very odd um, ally of Brazil here. <laughs> God, this w this will not be pretty. Hopefully, he can at least hold right here at the river cross line, but uh, I'm not very sure. This is bad. At least they're not fighting your troops right now. No, um, that's why I'm trying to just advance as much as possible, but we have the uh, two days in one single province and their capital is here. So we have some... Yeah, to grow. you might have a little bit of a problem there. Come on, break this division. We need to attack from, well, most areas at the same time. These divisions are splitting up very good, but very slowly. Is it commando expert that's gonna help us with our marines, but we don't really have marines anymore. Um, let's actually begin with cons no, actually we have mil actually we have three hundred, so we can pick two of them. So I was thinking concealed expert since our air force is equal zero. So if they have any, that will reduce the penalty. And then we have the army. The question is, should we go? F oh, maneuver. 
maneuver is probably going to help you here, uh, especially with the movement penalties. Yeah, since it's 48 hours, it would scale up 4.8 hours. Yeah. And even though it might not sound much, it's it is 4.8 hours times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. And that is if we have the same low. So you're going to move here right now. It's going to take 10 days. So we basically remove the day right there. Mm -hmm. Really? 10 days? Wow. Ah, oh, yeah. Large river and infrastructure is pretty much zero. Actually, it might be zero. <laughs> yeah, it's zero. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah, going to take a very long time. To uh, the uh, Amazonas aren't really uh, known for uh, <laughs> the massive roads. road networks. No. <laughs> and now we have a war goal against Peru, but <laughs> I'm not sure I want to declare this. <laughs> they have so many troops. I have eight divisions stationed right there, and they're not even there yet. <laughs> Considering the, the Soviet volunteers in Brazil, you might want to hold off on this. Yeah, but then we're gonna get penalties because we justified a war and did not finish it. Uh, let's see, we have two penalties, months. Yes. January the 14th. Please try to ping me, poke me before that happens. Uh, are, are you able to uh, encircle that <laughs> division? Yeah, I, I'm thinking that. If I can move up right here, then I will be able to encircle well, these couple small divisions right there. Because I don't think they have a port. No, they don't have a port right here. Yeah. The port they have is right here. So It's going to take so long though. If you're just going to march up there, um, we will see what happens next month. <laughs> 17 days only. 17 so days, fine. wow. Uh, you saved almost two days there. Yeah. And now I'm being attacked right there. Oh, cool. So we had Bjorn surround these two divisions. That's actually pretty goddamn good. So let's constantly attack them now so they don't, well, breach or anything. They are trying to attack somewhere else, which makes them get the multiple combat penalty. Mm -hmm. Which is beautiful me. And the low supply penalty. They have bones in terrain though, but encirclement penalty. So they will disappear quite quickly. Goodbye. And we have a massive combat whiff, even though we can't even be close to fill it. Since, well, yeah, our current force isn't that great. Let's trade for a bit tungsten because we're barely building anything. So having this full display, I think it's better. Let's uh, even add one more. So as soon as this one finishes, we'll have one more artillery. And maybe we can eventually add one more right there. But it doesn't look super good right now. Let's see, industry-wise, construction level 2, sure that would be good for the future, but right now, since we barely have any civilian factories to build with, it's not really useful. Uh, oh god, right, we need 50 right there too. So, I think we'll just get these two extra construction or civilian factories right there before we get the next military one. It feels like it actually might be better. Uh, let's see, two, two divisions moving in, nope, that's unnecessary, I only need one, and... You are falling back to the north? I don't know what they were doing. They were they defeated the uh, encircled division at least. Yeah. Uh, we need a new commander. You. You're supposed to be against, well, them. And these six divisions are supposed to be assigned right here. Let's just make sure that we clear up everything with the division tools and let's also give them their own colors. Let's make them a bit more clear. There we go. The red and the blue divisions. The red and the blue team. Isn't that the American war exercise? The red and blue team. Could be. Uh, we have the uh, the op four is usually the red team in that case. Didn't you just fall back? I thought I saw you lose right here. So why are you not? Why are you staying right here? Just away with you. There we go. And now you stay right there. So we have to 14th January. We have 10 days to decide if we're going to go in or not. Uh, Amazon. Let's actually build one infrastructure instead. It's going to wow, take 125 days. Wow, that is a days. huge zone. Yeah. So even if we just add one single infrastructure right here in the, well, 125 days it's going to take to build it. Oh, actually, we, it's going to be improved a tiny bit right here once we get that. But... Let's see, Peru, how good are your soldiers? They're better than mine, and they have full strength. But I think we still would be able to defend right here. You think so? If we don't advance, we stay here and defend, because we have, well, the same thing as 
they have right now. We have the well, division attrition, enemy air support minus, they have a attack penalty. So if you stay right here entrenched, I think we can hold against them. That's probably not a bad idea. And they will wear themselves out and They'll then we can eventually counter push them. And we yeah. just lost the war goal because we were talking about it. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> <sighs> ah, the skill of Daniel once again appearing. <laughs> Is this a common thing? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm waiting I until I'm waiting until the very last things and just okay. Let's decide. Whoops. <laughs> Damn it! Um, well, we have well, at, at least a decision now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say let's just reassign everything right here. Uh, actually, that would kind of work. I was gonna say the supply is too low because there's no infrastructure right here, but it seems to be possible anyway. How so much can you supply? Well, I can supply fifteen, and all of our divisions currently require zero point sixty-five. Yeah, you and should be able to. That's supply. even together with his troops. Yeah, okay, I cool. Let's just assign everyone right here. Everyone joins yeah. the Red Army. Charge! <laughs> so, um, bad things happened, but gave us another good opportunity because I think Matt's gonna require. So, oh, no. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's doing it. Yeah. He's doing it. It seems like um, I, I said I was excited to go down right here, but so far I've been wrong in everything. Oh, look at that. He's trying an encirclement. And he might actually succeed with it. I think he might. Four days. Dun 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 dun. And that's a lot of troops. Well, he he did stop them first. He attacked them right here so they wouldn't move right away. Yeah. And then it takes a while for the AI to re re design. Maybe I should stop that. So he did he did well. He did mess around with the AI so it wouldn't well move. That's 10 enemy divisions that he's got encircled. So I would actually be a bit weird now and recommend don't kill them. Because if it kills them, Soviet Union will just send new ones that will be redeployed at their capital. So if he just keeps them encircled here with no supply and no and slowly wear down equipment, we can just expand the other nation and then... That is kind of sneaky. Yeah. I wonder if... Uh... He will go along with this. Yeah, uh, yes. So keep like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven troops, eight troops around here. Don't move in. Have them very careful just in case and just don't move in. And then you push forward and break them. Hoi 4 definitely needs the best CB. Do you know what the best CB is? No, I don't. No CB, best CB. I. I would um, perhaps agree with this. Yeah. I don't remember him having any CBs. He just went in. He said he might have had one. Like, we can have a pretend CB. You, yeah. you justify pretend CB. It takes 10 days. It increases world tension to 100. But just, yeah, I think we should invade Poland because Poland is a bad name. Germany is better. So let's invade him. And 100% world tension, and everyone would justify war against you, but still. Oh, it seems like they, once again, it seems like Björn is really ut utilizing his goal. We said that he should be focused on tanks and stuff like that. And while he doesn't have all tanks right now, he's using his, well, his cavalry. living tanks. His cavalry. Yeah, to actually surround and do exactly the thing we want him to do. Björn has really improved in all our games. He like has. E4 MP, he's oh, done yes. Hoy MPs, and his Photoshop skills. We can't forget about them. They are amazing. Yeah. He did really well in the last... Uh, yeah, uh, higher, Hearts of higher Iron. Star. Oh, Hearts of Iron. The Hearts of Iron um, uh, co-op campaign. Which one? Which uh, picture <coughs> are you referring to? Uh, no, he, he uh, uh, his gameplay in the uh, co-op campaign. I think he did really well. Which was that? Uh, he was invading Romania, I think. Yeah, but uh, which art are you referring to? Oh, oh, you mean his gameplay right yeah, there? Gameplay. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. I thought you meant art referring no, to that no, one. No, sorry. No, no, but yeah, the gameplay right there. Damn, Bjorn is getting dangerous. A little bit too dangerous, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wait, the air snow called to arms because of damn it. Or declare war. <laughs> I was gonna hoover it and I was like, oh wait, he's in the same faction, we can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, breaking in circle man. Nope, they are not. Let's attack. There we go. I stopped them. Thank you. Damn it, I didn't want to attack like this. I wanted to, well, just move in a bit more, but um if they're breaking it, then it's worth it, because then we're just holding them down and making them lose more and more supply. Especially, that's actually working against. If you get surrounded here, even if it's your land, the attrition will take care of them. The attrition is uh, really bad here, yeah. uh, in this region. Let's see, modify government, and we can continue. If one had minus attrition guy, that would be very useful. Um, Alright, we were commanded to play <laughs> Colombia by Katya, because, well, she this nation had a very bad cabinet supply and very few of them so um, yeah I kind of agree but Dan said no so here we are here we are lacking we we don't even have a I never picked him oh wait maybe I did yeah I think I did um, but yeah we don't even have an army leader so we can't even get army experience this way hmm interesting maybe something you could approve on M maybe uh, you'll have to, uh, uh, yeah, have to remind me of this. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna go for? Inventory, yes. Artillery might be better. Tank design is useless for us. It depends on wha what uh, you think you're going to be focusing on. We're gonna go like very heavy marines. So I'm thinking, would it be better to focus right here on the marines aspect? I think so. Yeah, uh, I also think maybe we should. We can have two types of marines, like the one that is just for getting to the front line, and then once they arrive, we switch them out to well marines, but with tons of artillery. That could work. So they are slight; they are just slightly better normal infantry units, but they still have that extra organization penalty and won't take as heavy penalties on over rivers. But once we want to invade, then we just yeah yeah I, yeah that would that would probably work nice. Um, and we are just seem to be holding the line. Holding the basic Brazil units a bit here and there, while we have stuff from example Dominican Republic, who's just I'm gonna rush here and snake everywhere. Like my troops won't be able to hold everything. You are too fast. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take these units and just do like this: strategic redeploy right there, and hopefully they won't get intercepted because otherwise, you'll just get cut. Example right here. Mm -hmm. So just get in. The oh God, look look at all my visions. 50% supply. How are you doing for uh, uh, equipment production? Is it the production or the uh, infrastructure that is the bottleneck here? Uh, production. We basically have the, we ha how many? Do we, we have how many? Eight military factories. Mm. Uh, we could always like we need more support and we need more artillery. But the question is, should we have even added that right now? Okay, large front operations are done, so at least we're going by the right name. We will have a large front. So everyone just stay here and split up. I don't want you to basically assault anything, I just be as careful as possible. You can have the highest priority right here. We are barely getting anything. We're not gonna produce anymore, that's yes, good. We have one more military factory right there, excellent. So I think I'm gonna give you two support. I want that, oh actually. Hmm. We could go down run one right here and just give both one more, but we're bis missing both aluminum and steel. Actually, let's do like this then. We, tr we take one more here artillery and then we can justify trading one more steel. That might be the best option. Uh, you have Actually, a little wait. bit of surplus on uh, small arms. Yeah. So uh, artillery and uh, uh, supplies is what you really need right now. Yeah. Yeah, we can't trade with anyone right here. So I think I will actually pull that one down one and just add that one right there, which means we have two. Oh, damn it! I think I said I will just fight with if we have three. You can get away with uh, with having a, uh, oh. a deficit of two. That's fine. Did we just take a bunch of factories or something? I don't know. What? You probably did. How, Where how did they come? Where did they come from? I, I no, not from trade either. 
Yeah, we have 14 civil. What? Oh, oh that's here. Where. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. um, so even if they are the ones snaking, we were the ones that, well, began the assault. So everything is going to us. Supreme yeah. Leader Colombia. <laughs> Damn, I feel almost evil because they are doing the work right now. And our division, or actually, we are doing quite well. We are taking all their attrition damage, keeping their lines. So mm. I think I can justify that we are the one that are supposed to hold everything. Yeah. yeah. But I we will, so. of course, be. We decided that hopefully, if everyone remembers, um, everyone is just gonna end their turn as quickly as possible and leave us with all the points, and we will split it up because, well, it would be easier for us to be fair from the position of um, might. Uh, no, no, not position might. We are just a graceful faction leader that is gonna accept everyone's and can equally split it up. If we get, if it's like one state too much, we might have to give it to itself, unfortunately. But we're gonna be yeah, as even as possible for yeah, everyone. Yeah, we we can hold on to it uh, until we can find someone to take care of it. Yeah, exactly. Don't forget about second national folks. No, I'm just taking a bit care because. Um, we don't have to hurry up that much. Actually, we will get some experience right here going down. But it's another 15 experience. Um, well, I am think I'm going to wait now with spending any experience until we have our marines in a really good... Well, yeah, some really good marines. I Maybe even... Would it be worth to change this one out? If we Not switch yet, this I one think. to marines, won't everyone turn into marines? I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I think for now, let's hold off on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for now, we don't even have marines. And right now, it's better if we have normal divisions. Uh, let's see. Olivia, it seems like some more people are now joining because I think they want to reap the reward of beating them. Mm. But yeah, I, I will just equally split it up between everyone right here. What happened to the encirclement down south? Uh, I think he killed it off anyway. Oh. And uh, actually, they didn't send any more. <laughs> <laughs> Just as he says it. This has happened more and more recently. I say something and it's a... <laughs> this is a very special gift that you have. Yeah, I, I know I know the AI so well. <laughs> I knew they were going to do something. This almost feels like one of those rigged games where we have like, yeah, we've sat it's sure, surely rigged up everything so everything will do exactly as we want. When you time it that well, but yeah, look, we don't have a player right here. We haven't set up anything. It just happens sometimes. And we and certainly not coded the AI to work against him. Yeah, and follow my voice command by do not do this. We're going to do this. So since I'm not in this war, we're going to follow, yeah, hopefully just... Both uh, Dominican Republic and Cuba just presses done, and then, well, El Salvador, we split it up equally among all of them. Or at least kind of equally. But I think El Salvador will be, will be one of the strongest mites right now. So we'll see. Hello, Ilovi. Uh Let's see. The PC police. <laughs> They're breaking in. Oh, that was before. The Dominican demands are a bit too aggressive, I think. If everyone just press down, then El Salvador can split it up for everyone. Come on. Come on. We can't wait too long. This would be so nice to have. It's a massive... Massive part of infrastructure right here. Hmm. Infrastructure, men, resources. <laughs> Do you think you could take them on? Right now, I don't think we can. But no. maybe. Uh, it seems like Cuba will get one, one single state. But they will get it <laughs> landlocked. Wow. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm sure that will be very useful. Yeah. No way, we won't even get that. No, they are getting th this something. Oh, no, no, they got two of them. Okay, cool. That's nice. So we have a very big El Salvador that is, I think, the mightiest play right now. 11, 12, 4, 10, 6, 9. And we have, well, right now, we are actually looking like mightier. But that's just because, 
well, we currently occupy everything. Once we ta actually take them down, that would be, well, more expensive. So if we could just clean this out while everyone else focuses on the south, we will soon help them. Uh, we are slightly better now in equipment. I think we missed like 250 each, so we're doing a bit better. Uh, let's add one more right there, one more right there. Uh, we need steel and aluminum, so let's trade for both of that. You have plenty of uh, civilian factories to trade with now. Yeah, somehow. Somehow. Oh, actually, not somehow. We did figure it out, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe we should take this opportunity at hand to actually build up more military factories for us. Because the military is where all the fun is. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, what more can we do? Export? Do we have any res Do we actually have any resources at all? I don't think we had. That's what's made this nation even worse. No resources. Okay, 20 oil. We have 20 oil. Yeah, 20 oil. <laughs> but I'm almost thinking... Let's see, are we even gonna get anything from... No, I don't think we will get any resource from Brazil either. Uh, so you will get some steel. Uh, I, uh, we will probably that's not take it. This will probably oh. get to Uruguay. And this would be, well, to Par... Oh, that's all the Paraguays. But yeah, Paraguay right here, Bolivia right here. We're going to get some more land right here. Mm. Venezuela here, Peru. So we will give it a good sense. May I don't know who will actually get this. Maybe Paraguay will get this but i don't really know maybe we should t grab a bit more of the coast right here because we were supposed to be a bit more naval mm -hmm. so we can have some more naval factories but um we'll just have to see which country is playing we are playing well never grand colombia so everyone is just giving me their stuff right now because reasons no because we're the faction leader and everyone has walked through our territory to attack them Bjorn says that he needs factories or space for factories yeah yeah exactly we d luckily, oh wait, is this this gonna be one state? Is this one state? It looks like one. Oh, that's a big. Then step. I'll probably actually give this one to Bjorn mm. because he can get this one. We can get a couple smaller one. I think these two because all of that naval range, we need to build a bunch of naval dockyards. Then we will give some territory right here to Uruguay, and then. Paraguay can get... Uh, come on, please tell me this is not... Yes, Paraguay can get... Is this not his territory? Yes, it is. But yeah, he can get a state right here. Bolivia can get a state right here. Okay, I think we can split it up pretty goddamn well. Uh, Haiti want to join... Join a faction? Oh, right! They were the only one that didn't... Oh, crap. They were the only one that didn't manage to get... Oh, they're still not fascist. They're like, nah, we're still democratic. Yeah, we're still democratic. <laughs> we're definitely still we're democratic. We're waiting for, for the uh, the election. Yeah. What will the results be? Yeah, um, we pretty much know what results will be, but we will stay democratic until we have the election. So they're very, very stuck in their democratic ways. But um, the I democratic salute them for election. it, at least. Yeah. The very democratic election. Of uh, 19... Fr so they're actually going to have it quite soon. So um, we're, we're pretty sure what the w results will be, but uh, you can still bet on the Democrats to win. We have about 2 million to 1 odds, so... You can never be sure uh, in an election, though. No, you, you could can. have an upset. Yeah, or the governing party is saying no. Since it doesn't matter who votes, but who counts the votes. Uh, come on. We can't really push in right here. Let's see, if we spread out our troops even more, to just cover the entire thing, which I think we can, because we have a bunch of troops, it just takes two million years for them to move in right there. Well, That's the trick we deploy all the way down there south. Or so maybe, uh, try to do a push for Rio? Yeah. That's why we're redeploying three troops right there. Maybe we can get down right there. If not, well, Ecuador gets in there now and brings it down. I think they actually might succeed in that. Luxembourg joined the Allies. Okay, so now the Second World War has truly begun. Netherlands joined the Allies. Germany. Luxembourg capitulated. Chile has joined the Allies. That's a bad. That's very, very bad. That could so we're at war with the Allies now. 
Uh, hello, my, hello, dear troops. Um, you kind of need to go up right here and defend <laughs> against the United <laughs> Kingdom. <laughs> God damn it, people. Things got interesting really fast. Come on, come on, Brazil, just fall. Just fall. You're supposed to fall. You will not join the Allies. You will not join the Allies. Listen to me. Come you want to be independent. You don't want to join the Allies. Okay, good. They are fallen. Please tell me that's it. It should be it. Boom. Very, very good. Very, very good. So I'm going to pass and please... Okay, I need to pass it between every single player that press is done. And then we'll see if we can split it up. And I think that might actually be the rest of the stream. Um, Ecuador, please press done. No, you're not gonna take anything. <laughs> Just press done. We're gonna split that up very quickly, hopefully. Done, done, done. It feels nice to have this might. Mm. But um, we will probably get very little out of it, to be honest. You were very lucky there that uh, they didn't join the allies. Yeah, that could have happened any second since world tension was won wandered. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond, done. Cool. I can't press down anymore. I, I can't press pass. Oh, oh. You're giving score. Uh, all you have to do is press done. You don't have to give me the score. It will automatically go to me if you're done with everything. <laughs> I don't know how to give you points. I have figured out. Yeah, just remove that and press done and you'll be fine. There we go. Then we get pass. Uh, El Salvador. El Salvador have 99 points in Brazil. Hmm. All right. And then we have Phalanx Cuba. Mm, so, we have every score right now. Yeah, now it's... So, uh, nice. Consul Uruguay, you did great. And of course, you're going to get the majority part, I think, of everything. You fought very bravely, very hard. And I think I'm going to give you a big chunk. Let, let's not be go like overboard right away, because we don't know how much will be for everyone else. Uh, Dominican Republic, let's see. I want to give some Paraguay. Where's Paraguay? There we go. Uh, I'm going to give you two states right there. Uh, let's see. Cuba. No. Oh. Ecuador and Authority. I think I want to give Venezuela now, just to make sure that people get stuff. Okay, there we go. Peru. Oof, what land shall Peru get? I think we have to remove some land right there. But um, El Salvador, you have a lot of land. So I think you'll accept when I don't give you very much uh, let's see where's Bolivia were they even called in maybe they weren't no I don't think you were okay cool then uh, let's see mm, Dominican Republic should we give them any land what do you think hmm. we could give them this just to give, make some beautiful borders I love these beautiful borders I love uh, beautiful borders nice there needs to be more borders. Yes. Uh, Venezuela. Let's see. No. We have given to four people. Is there anyone that hasn't? I, I worked hard. Yeah, CB. Who, who is CB? We actually, I don't actually know the name of everyone, where everyone's playing. So is there anyone we're missing? Cuba? Have we given them any land? No, we haven't. God, this is very big land, too. Ugh. That's pretty. Hmm. That's a lot of rubber. Yeah. Let's see who was gonna go for airplanes. Damn it! I would like to see the resource map mod right now. We had someone that was gonna go for airplanes, so I'm planning to give him that. Uh, let's just end this turn right now. I think. Yeah. Let's end that, so we know kind of <laughs> the borders. The borders. They're not that bad. Uh, we're gonna give ourselves a tiny bit. We just need, we just need naval port somewhere. I think this is the closest one to invade right here, so that one is at least ours. Let's see, Dominican Republic, isn't there? Yeah, Dominican Republic right there. They didn't do anything, so should we still give them land? It might be good to actually give them some land on the like foothold right here, so they can actually be enjoying us right there. And then we only have Cuba left, right? Or Equ Ecuadorian Authority? Wait, where are, where are they? Are they also a very small? <laughs> uh, one minute, oh god, one minute before we have to leave. 
Uh, whatever, let's just give me that too and just end the turn. Maybe I forgot someone and I'm really sorry about that, but... I've never seen such beautiful ball. Oh crap, we could have given this one to Cuba instead. Oh, Now that Dominican Republic yeah. got two lands. That is true. Mm. Well, we have some more land to take. And I can just give them the occupation right here. In case I missed anyone. So don't you worry guys, you're all going to get some land. I'm going to split up my forces right here. So seven against each side. I'm going to... Make sure that every 14, first I do like this, everyone strategic redeploy right there. Then I'm going to select half of you and just tell you, you're going to strategic redeploy right there. Just very quickly split up right there. Uh, let's see, we have a decent amount of stuff still. God damn it. Um, let's see, I think we need to improve our divisions. Oh, actually, let's see. We actually don't have our marines anymore, damn it. But um, that will actually have to be, I will just get up, go up right now and get screamed at by everyone that You got about me! Ah, what are you doing? No! So, that would be interesting. Um, couldn't we have ended the stream like five minutes later so they might forget about me being cruel? But apparently not. Uh, so, if I forgot anyone before you scream at me upstairs, we will just give you occupation right here and right there. So, don't, don't you worry about it. You're gonna still get something. Um, Anyway, guys, other than that, um, I will think, do did we do that tease, what we're going to show in the next Dev Diary? Uh, no, we didn't. Then and uh, I think that's uh, something that Dan can do. Then we'll have to wait about, well, if Dan is doing anything like that, because we can't say anything. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this World War Wednesday. We'll be back next week, same time. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>